G'day everyone, it's Alan here from Fishing Mad. Not having a great run with weather at the moment, and it seems like every time I have some spare time for fishing, the gods of Melbourne flick a switch and put the weather into nasty mode. And this morning, I'm greeted with 45 kilometre gusty winds. So it's mean that once again, I've had to resort to doing some inland fishing, targeting some estuary species such as brim and mullet. Now to keep things a little bit interesting, what I thought would do is I'd fish with my ultra ultra light spin outfit. Now this is my LRF one to three kilo rod. It is easily the thinnest and lightest fishing rod that I've ever fished with. And the top quarter section of this fishing rod is actually thinner than a toothpick. So it means when you're targeting small species such as trim and such as mullet, if you happen to catch one that's 30 centimeters and above, it's actually a really good fight and actually a lot of fun and you're in some essence turning really light estuary fishing into some sort of sports fishing so this should be a lot of fun once again we're using that weather to our advantage and hopefully we can catch a few fish to share with you so stick around guys That is what we're using today guys, just a small curl tail. Um, the water clarity is absolutely horrible, so sometimes I'm rubbing a little bit of scent on that tail. That's the spot. That's exactly where they were. Maybe a couple of seconds too late. No, not too late, they're there. They're there. Yep, 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 gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Bit of time today. That rod bend. Oh, this way, mate. Oh, he fell off, look at that. So there you go, guys, there's the first fish of the day. It's only a small one, pretty feisty still. He's taken just that little curl tail in blood gold. And as I always do, guys, catch and release. So we're going to get this guy in nice and safely. And he will absolutely... Look at that, he's just sitting there. <laughs> Go on, mate. There he goes. How good's that, eh? Alright, well there you go, that's the first catch of the day guys. And I'll tell you what, sometimes the best tool you've got is your eyesight because I've probably done about 50 casts already without a single touch. And I saw some splashing out of the water, which clearly wasn't birds. And I thought, well if I can get one right onto that spot, which I did, I cast exactly where the splash was. And what do you know, two seconds later, bang. This wind. Oh, yeah, a bite there. Yep, 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 yep. Always oh, gone right into the weed. May have foul hooked this one. Look at the rod bend. He's still trying to run away. Got him. He's a little bit bigger. Look at that, he's got that curl tail grub. So you can see, he's not a huge mullet. He's probably, you know, low 30s, probably 33, 34 centimeters. But on that light gear, geez, they, uh, they fight hard. So we wanna get him out unharmed. So that rod away. And we'll get out second mullet of the day and let's send him on his way there you go mate this little estuary system we've pretty much got rapids almost now <laughs> we've got waves i've never seen it quite like this we've got a bit of rain at the moment but we're going to soldier on because we're just starting to get some bites if it gets much worse and we'll have to call it but I want to 
just keep fishing on whilst we're getting some bites. surface action there. And uh, this one feels a bit of size. Again, your eyesight is your best tool now. There we go, got him. So there's the third mullet of the day. He's definitely the biggest one. So you can see in terms of size, not huge, but a nice fish. And I was watching the action on the top of the water and cast it pretty much right on top of him. He's taken that little curl tail. That's a nice fish. This guy going as well. Okay. Whoa, 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 he's keen to go. That's number three. Playing and playing and playing and playing and playing. Again, your eyesight is your best tool now. There we go. Got him. That's a long one. That's a nice fish. I mean, look at that. Skinny one. Again, he's absolutely scoffed. That soft plastic has just fallen out. That wind. And we're going to let this guy go. Up you go, mate. There he goes. And away he swims. There you have it guys um, probably today the real winner is probably melbourne's weather that wind kept changing direction it was pretty swirly the water clarity was really really poor out there um, and it made fishing pretty tough um, look we ended up catching about 10 mullet I reckon we had a few brim bites in there as well that we didn't manage to land but that's fishing i'll be back out again so stay tuned folks and good fishing